I showed you a video how to reset WordPress to prevent errors that may occur when importing a theme demo with a WordPress reset plugin. Today, let me introduce you how to completely initialize WordPress without plugins. This method requires a database management tool called phpMyAdmin, one of the most popular DBMS tool at the moment. After processing this, your WordPress state will be exactly the same as reinstalling WordPress. You should be aware that absolutely all data will be deleted. Keep in mind that data recovery is impossible. And after resetting WordPress, let me introduce a theme called Sakra. Let's get started. Search for phpMyAdmin on Google and download and install the latest version. After connecting via FTP on your web server, upload the downloaded phpMyAdmin to the root of your web server. Web server root is usually www. After uploading, enter your domain slash in the folder name you uploaded. Log in with your database username and password. If you have forgotten your database username and password, you can find out by looking at the wpconfig.php file in the WordPress root directory. Choose the WordPress database name you have installed. Scroll down and click Check All. Select Delete from the selection box on the right. A confirmation shows asking if you really want to run the query. When you select Yes, all data and tables will be deleted. Connect via FTP and go to the root where WordPress is installed. Go to the WP Content Directory. Go to the Plugins folder and delete all folders. This will delete all installed plugins. Go to the Theme directory. Delete themes that you don't want to use. In my case, let me delete all themes except one. Go back to the WP Content folder. Let me delete all folders, except plugins, themes, uploads, and upgrade. Go to the Uploads folder and delete all subfolders and files. Now when let's log on our site, it shows WordPress installation screen. Scroll down and find your language. Select your language and click continue. Enter, site title, administrator username, password, your email address, press the install button. Log in with the administrator username and password. Let me introduce you to a theme called Sakra. This theme provides a number of free themes. In my personal opinion, it is a decent quality theme. Go to the theme menu and click the Add New button. Search for Sakra. Install and activate it. Click the Get Started with Zakra button. After installation, you will be taken to the Demo Importer menu. I previewed all the demos, Cafe, Wedding, Spa, Drone, Lawyer, Business Firm, seems to looks fine. Let me show you the previews in turn.
I'm going to import the drone demo. Click the import button. Press the confirm button. After importing, check the front end website. Choose the customize menu and edit the theme. First of all, let me change the logo. Click header. Click site identity. You can upload logo here. As you can see, the logo is not applied even though the logo has been uploaded. It's weird, so I looked for it. The logo changed here is not applied to the pages except home front page. To change the logo on the home front page, go to the home front page edit screen in the page menu. Click the header tab. Click on remove logo. Click the upload link to upload your logo. It is not updated in the edit screen. After updating, you should check the front end website. As you can see, the logo has changed. General pages have white background, so we need upload a colored logo. You can also upload the site icon here. Please check it has changed. You can change the site title and tagline. Go to upper level. Go to the header media menu. Header media allows you to insert a video or image in the header. You can include a YouTube video, but the looks poor. You need to additional CSS publishing for this feature. You can also put an image in the header. There is an option to create a top bar. Usually, Top bar shows the sign up menu or social icons. When you enable the top bar and enter text, the top bar is created. Let's display the footer menu on the right. The background and text color can be changed. But there is no option to change the menu text color. The header main option that can change the overall layout of the header. You can change to another layout by clicking the layout style. Header button options allows you to add a button to the right of the menu. When you add button text and link, the button is added. At the bottom, there are CSS options to modify the button design. You can modify the padding or border radius etc. In the menu option, hide or show the menu. You can modify the active menu style. You can remove the underline or change it to left or right. The drop down option is to modify the design when there is a sub menu. Now 
Next, let's take a look the content menu. I'm confused header term here. This option is used to set general pages top section other than the home front page. Let's go to the service page. Top section of content, there are background image, page title and breadcrumbs. You can edit the position or layout of these three elements. Any changes here will be applied to all other pages as well. The blog archive is a place where you can edit the design of the page that displays the WordPress post list. Corresponds to the blog menu in this theme. There is an option to show a summary of the contents of the post or to show all contents. In an archive page, it is common to show an excerpt which is a summary. At the bottom there are options, to adjust the order, in which thumbnail images, and title meta tag content, are displayed. You can adjust the position by drag and drop. You can also set whether to show read more link. Click on a post to go to the single page. You can adjust the content order or the meta tag etc. Meta style is where you set the metadata style. In this way, you can change the style. In the sidebar, you can change the font options of the sidebar's title and content. Also modify the font family or other options. In the footer, you can modify the footer widget in the bottom footer. The footer widget layout or background image and other CSS options in the footer. There are two styles available for the footer bottom bar. You can edit the copyright text here. The widget menu allows you to change the widgets displayed in the sidebar. It is the same feature as the widget menu under Appearance. Website settings are also the default WordPress settings menu. CSS is a feature that allows you to add custom CSS. If you are able to code CSS, Add additional CSS code here. Go back to the home page and return to the Elementor edit screen. You can edit the home page. I don't explain how to edit content in Elementor Builder because there is no special options only for this theme. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.